Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the second continuation video on Dune LCD display that I got couple of days ago from Dune Technology. So, in this video, we'll learn how to create a beautiful UI using a software called Digas. So, this is the final UI that I created for this demo video. At the end of this video, you will be able to create a similar UI using the Digger software. So without wasting any further more time, let's get started. This is the 7 inch HMI LCD display from Dwin with a resolution of 800 by 480. At the back of this board, all the interfaces for touch and display in it are available. The name of the display is DMG 80480C070. It has a UART port for serial communication with computer or a microcontroller. This is a HDL662B adapter board. It's nothing but just a USB to serial converter. This is FCC1015A cable for connecting LCD with HDL board. Connect this cable to UART port like this. The blue part should be at the top. After connecting, slide this slot. Connect the HDL board with USB cable so that you can connect it to the computer. We also need a SD card and a micro SD adapter for firmware operation and firmware loading. Now let us see how we can create the UI for this display. So first visit the official website of Dwin Global and you can buy any of the display from here in the download section click on tool and from here we need to download two software one is the driver and another is the diga software so first download the driver software and then the diga software once this software are downloaded open your download folder and from here you need to extract the driver one and then also extract the Diga software. So now let us install this driver. So open this folder and then install this .exe file and follow the instruction. So the driver has been installed. To check this driver, go to control panel and then click on this device manager. And in the COM port, you will see uh, something like XR21 v1410 usb2 your driver install this means your lcd display can now communicate with computer now on your desktop create a folder and name it anything something like demo or whatever you want Be because we need a folder where you can create all the files I have also created a two folder with images and icons. In the folder called 32, I have created four images that will act as a UI. So these are one, two, three, and the fourth images. Here are the three icons that is basically on icon, off icon, and a slider icon. So create two folders and uh, name it as 32 and 42 and you need to paste these images now coming to this uh, main images part you can use paint to uh, modify these uh, images the dimension should be 800 by 480 as this is the screen resolution and from here you can save these images in .bmp format remember the naming is important it's like 00, 01, 02 and 03 this is the name how we can name it now open this digas folder and inside this folder uh, you will see a executable file called digas just open this file and the ui will appear now the first thing that you need to go is go to setting and the change the language to english by default the language is in chinese now here create a new and first select the screen resolution in my case the resolution is 800 by 480 
and select the path. The path uh, is the same as the folder that you created on the desktop. And then click on OK. Again OK. So a uh, project is created here. Now we need to add the files. To add these files, import the images. The images are from the folder called 32. These four images. So the BMP images are available here now as 00, 01, 02 and 03. Now go to settings and click on diggers. Now here you will see a T5 L download. From here click on ICL tool and then select the same pictures and click on OK. Now generate ICL file. Name this ICL file as 32. So the ICL file is created. Now this is the default uh, name for the ICL file. You can't use any other name. Just keep the name as 32.icl. So when you see in this folder, so you can see many files and folders are created. And inside the Dwin set folder, we have four images and with a file called 32.icl. Now again go to this uh, digger software and again go to diggers and again go to ICL tool. And now select pictures again. Now this time select the pictures for icons. Now the icons are placed inside a folder called 42. Now again generate ICL. Name this file as 42.icl and save it to the same location uh, like dwin.set. So the 32.icl and 42.icl both are created now. You can see this file in the Dwin set folder. Now we need to create UI. To create the UI, first save this file and then click on generate. So the config file is also generated. To see the config file, you can see there is a 13 touch file. This is for touch file and 14 show file. This is for the uh, show file and we have 22 config. This is the configuration. Now let us create uh the font file to do that click on welcome and then click on word bank generating from here we need to generate font select any of the font you like and then create so it will take couple of minutes and a file called dwin asc.hgk will be created remember the extension dot hjk now you can get this uh, file in a folder called diggers so open the diggers software and here you can see this file copy or cut this file and place it in the dwin set folder so all of these files are ready now now what we need to do is we need to create a ui to do this first go to 00, 00 image now under the touch control select basic touch module under the basic touch module uh, you can create a rectangular box inside the area where you want to uh, touch. For example, for servo part, uh, mm -hmm. I am marking this area and rectangle. Now again, do the same thing for the RGB part. Mark this rectangular area. Now do the same thing for the uh, switch part. Again, mark the rectangular area. So uh, three areas are created. You can drag or slide uh, to adjust. Now first click on servo part. Under the page switching, uh, click on the page where you want to uh, switch this. Now when you click on RGB, again select the page where this will take. In the switch part, uh, under the page switching, select the page where you want to switch. So this part is completed. That is the page 1 that is 00, 00 is created. Now save this file. Now go to image 0, 01. Under the touch control again select basic touch module and then in this page mark the home screen. Now under the page switching uh, select the page where you want to switch it. For example I want to take it to the home. Now in the display control part select slide display and again mark the area under this line as slider display. You can drag, drop and then slide it to adjust the slide length. 
Now in the touch control, again select drag adjustment and again mark the same area where you have enabled the touch control. So this is also done. Now slide it up so that you can modify the data or the statistics that you want to do. In the drag adjustment, select data auto uploading and under the VP, select the location. For example, I will be selecting the memory location as 1000. Under data return mode, select integer and the start value as 0 and terminate value as 255. And in the slider display option, again select the VP, the same memory location that is 1000. Terminal value should be 255. In the icon file, select the icon that is 42 ICL. In the slide icon, select this third image as slide. And then select filter background color or not and then OK. Go down and in the filter set part, select 1. Now again drag to reposition it. So the server part is done now. Now let's go to the second image. Now here we will configure for RGB. So first go to display control and select slider display. Mark this rectangular area again. And under the touch control, give drag adjustment. Again, mark this area for dragging. Again slide down so that you can edit. In the slider option, select the memory location. This should have a different memory location from the previous one. For example, I will be selecting the memory location as 2000. In the terminal value, select 255. In the icon file, select 42 ICL. Select the icon. So we will be again selecting the slider icon. Now in the filter set option, enable 1. Se again select the drag adjustment. Select data auto uploading. In the VP, select the memory location, the same memory location that is 2000. In the data return part, select low byte. In the terminal value, select 255. Now all the settings are done, so adjust or reposition the both of the slide again. Now we need to do the same setting for this part, that is for the green part and the blue part. Again go to display control and create a slide display. Select the memory location as 3000 that is under VP and in the terminal value give the value as 255. In the icon file select 42 ICI and the slide icon uh, we need to select again. Again select the touch control and do the drag adjustment. So a lot of option will appear again. So select data uploading and give the memory location as uh, 3000. In the data return mode select low byte and the terminating value is 255. Remember for each operation the memory location should be different. Now the blue part is left. We will be doing same for the blue part. And in this blue part we will be giving the memory location as 4000 as we have assigned 2000 for red and 3000 for green. The 4000 location is for blue. Now under the touch control again select the home icon so that when you hit touch here it will switch with to the home page. In the page switching, select the page 1 that is 00.bmp. So save this file again. Now click on the third image that is fourth image that is 03.bmp. Now here we will uh, enable an option for switch control. So this is a dif little different process compared to the previous one. Now first uh, go to display control and select VR icon display. Uh, position anything on the screen. So a rectangular box will appear here. Now from here select the VP value. For example, I will be selecting it as 5000. In the icon file select 42.icl. In the icon ID select the on icon first. The maximum value is 1. For that the icon value is off. In the filter set select 1 and again save this. So uh, 
image has appeared here by clicking it now you can uh, enlarge this image or you can reposition it now click on the touch control and select increment adjustment and select the image area select data auto uploading no button effect and the low byte from here over time operation as cycle and adjustment step length as one upper limit as one so this is done and for the memory location select the same location as 5000 and drag it and adjust on the screen and save it now under the basic touch module uh, select the home icon and go to the page switching at 00 00.pmp now save this file go to display preview from front so the switch is also working fine so this is really great even the uh, screen is working fine the servo control is working fine all the drag in the rgb led control mode is also working fine the home button is also working fine here and under the switch we are able to turn on and off so home button is working fine now what we need to do is everything is ready now we need to save this file so under the on the desktop a uh, folder with so many options is available here now to upload the firmware we need to copy this dwin underscore set folder so copy this folder to the sd card like the sd card data inserted here remove the sd card from the sd card adapter and then on the back side of the dwin lcd display insert it inside the sd card slot then power the dwin display using the usb of your computer now the firmware downloading has started wait for a few minutes so that all this firmware will be downloaded once download is completed disconnect the power to the usb now remove the sd card from the sd card slot power the display again with the help of usb cable so this is a magic the firmware has been loaded successfully on the lcd display and here you can see the same beautiful ui that you created a couple of minutes ago i hope this tutorial has cleared your so many doubt and then you can use this tutorial to create a beautiful ui to buy this lcd and to download the firmware see the link in the description if you have any questions comment down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching